Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope you're all doing good. I got a new message for you. Uh, I think it's I think it's from our Heavenly Father. I'm out here in the barn right now, and uh, I thought I'd get... see. I got this issue when 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 I feel that things are given to me, and I don't share them. I feel I'm gonna get into big trouble with the man upstairs. So I have to share it with you. And it's up to you what you do with this information that I'm going to give you. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you with all this uh research and all this stuff like other YouTubers do. Uh, I give you my thoughts and uh as I go along in this um, subject you can put your questions, all your comments, your opinions. I won't get offended. I'll get offended if you harass or you do bad words or whatever. But other than that, you know, uh, good conversation is always good. Check this out. I want to also share. Oh, shoot. Let's see if I can do this. Hold on real quick. I wanted to share with this uh, where I'm at. See, when we bought this place, this barn, this was all a huge mess. And it's probably still a huge mess but uh but we've cleaned it up a whole lot and we're repairing you can see these patches of uh tin sheets and because you know, we got these goats see, this, this, this one this uh dwarf some kind of dwarf so it's called a pygmy dwarf or nigerian dwarf i don't know one of the two and then we got this little boar now this one is pregnant and we're trying to keep her away from the male male goats and this one too uh, well this is not this one's a baby but she can get pregnant already but we don't want her pregnant we want her to, to grow her her full uh, growth okay and then started getting working on this one so this is where we put the male goats I think they're called Billy goats or something like that or the buck and I uh, I started going to this one because I want to do another one so that we can keep them more separated as they have babies. And um, but then I started growing on, on chicken coop because I want to separate the ducks from the chickens because the ducks like their where they live. They like it to be wet, and chickens like it dry because they get all these um, I guess there's uh, mites or lice or fleas and stuff like that. So they like it. To, they like their baths and and the dust. So I did this, but then I hit my, my finger yesterday. I'll show you real quick. Oh, yesterday, so like two days ago. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you my hand, see? That's my hand, I was born like that. I didn't do that by the hammer. But this, I did with the hammer. So, for most people, it's not a big deal. But for me, it's 50% of my hand, so <laughs> it's a huge deal. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to the message. I was, yeah. Uh, oh, and the reason I, I, I hit my finger was because um, I was in a hurry to get this thing done because the, the rabbits are in, uh, in this little place right here. It's indoors. And they need to be separated from everything because the goats try to get to their feet. And, <laughs> and it's terrible. Um, but I was in a hurry and I smashed my finger. Like, now, now I can't do much, so... But anyways, I want to get back to you, to my message. Last night I had a dream. And it was not just any dream. It was, it was, it was a dream that bothered me the whole night. I couldn't sleep. I would wake up and I said, okay, what's going on? I'll go back into my dream. And the dream was about the scripture of, of not being uh, the mark of the beast. And not being able to sell or buy, you know, and um, and I figured in my dream, I understood as I was going into a store to buy something, and I said, oh, so that's how they're doing it. And it would make sense of how they would block us from, they would block us from buying things the ones that would not receive the mark of the beast. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but you can look look it up in Revelation. Uh, the, 
Um, Revelation. Oh, it's not, I can't get it over the top of them in my head, but, but I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description down below, okay? So anyways, um, and I kept on waking up and it would make sense to me. But then when I would wake up, I'd understand that that was the the way they would block our um, our ability to buy. They, they would block us from buying. and uh, But I wouldn't remember what was the way they did it. And I was angry at the, I mean, I was angry in the morning because I couldn't remember what it was. And I said, I should have woke up. I should have written it down. This is a message from God. And I mean, but anyways, when I, I got out this morning and I started looking in the Facebook, I started, things started to make sense to me. And um, I was, I was looking into the, um, on Facebook and I saw NASCAR uh, they're going to prohibit people from wearing MAGA hats and political t-shirts and stuff like that and I said okay I get it now let me explain it to you what's going to happen and this is all by election our fall will happen because we desire it. We make it happen. Or if we move forward and and everything turns out positive, it's because we make it happen. But we have to make. We have to be able to make the decision. Not anybody else. Not President Trump. Not our government. It has to be the people. Once the people start making their um, their decision, everything will still um, go into into play the way it should be. You want things to go back to normal? Then you gotta make it happen. But nobody else is gonna do it for you, believe me. And if you're you're scared, you're uncertain of our future, then you have to make things happen. Okay. Now let me let me, let me uh, keep on going with this. Um, the ability to buy or sell is if we let me see how I, I explain this. Let's say I'm a NASCAR driver. If I put up, if I don't want this, uh, if I don't want my freedom of, of of speech to be infringed upon, then um, then I, as a NASCAR driver, cannot sell my services. I need to stop that. I need to stop selling my services. That's where it becomes you will not be able to sell. Now, uh, let's just say something else. Let me see. I thought I saw a snake here, but it's not a snake. Anyways, <laughs> I get distracted. Uh, let's just say um, you go to a store. I saw another one. Now, people, uh, they're, they're, they're forcing their way in to these uh, stores without a mask. And people saying, hey, well, you need to wear a mask and all this drama, blah, 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 whatever. It shouldn't be that way. Nothing should be forced upon us. But you, as a consumer, will buy from that store. Well, you're only making them more powerful. Stop giving them business. You, you, you need to stop. If you, don't, if you don't agree with what they're doing, don't give them your business. That's where, you know, that's how they stop us from buying. Now, can they, the reason they can survive on this is because we gave them all the power. We gave the NBA power. We gave the NFL power. We gave all those people our power. Do we need these things? No. Remember Jesus? He went into the desert for 40 days and didn't eat. And I'm not telling you to don't eat, don't drink water. No, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. You're not Jesus. We're not Jesus. Moses did also. A couple of times, not only once. So that's, um, you know, now we did it. We, we were quarantined. And everybody hung, hunkered down at home. And, 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 and nobody went out. And and we, and I, I'm, I'm assuming that's a, God's way of telling you, you know, you could do this. We can throw these businesses out of our country and let us live 
without this division that they're causing. They're provoking it. Because remember back, remember back a few years, it hasn't been that long. We didn't, we, we weren't like this. I mean, we have our cases, but, you know, we're not in heaven. We're going to deal with these problems. We're going to deal with these issues. There's evil people all around us. But it's not the way they're telling us that it is. I doubt 50% of the people in the United States are racist. And I doubt heavily that any of these racists are, are Trump or all of these are Trump supporters. I'm assuming there are some racists on, among Trump supporters. And I believe there's also some good people. I know a few people that are Democrats that are very good people. But it's not like they say, like all white people, they need to die, or I've heard all these terrible things. You want things to go back to normal, you got to make that change. You got to stop giving these people your business. And you can do without it. You can do without NASCAR, you can do without the NFL, you can do without Walmart. Take back the power, give it to, uh, to the people where it's supposed to be. Anyway, that's my message to you. And uh, actually, that's a, I like to say it's a message from God because nobody other than God, nobody is saying that's, you know, that was a message from God because nobody in the right mind will take me away from my, from my beauty sleep. Nobody. But God, he, he did. And I got no complaints. Keep on coming, God. That's why I share them with you because if I don't share my talents, or I don't give these messages that I'm told to give you, God will take it away from me. So anyways, that's why I share it with you. And you do what you want with it. And, um, but I, I, I tell you, you want things to go back to normal, you take the power away from these people. You don't need those Gucci bags or, or Michael Kors bags. You don't need all that fancy stuff. You, you don't, you can do without, without a lot of the stuff. And you have done it. But you just, you just need to take it away from those people. Take the power away from those people that are ruining our country, that are ruining our lives. You know? Alrighty, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.